Hi, this is Revsani, and I made 12 random shapes out of my leftover paper stash. So I thought I'd share this with you. Here we go. Well, looks like we have enough to get started for projects. Plenty enough for the rest of the month, or maybe the rest of the year. We'll see. Let's get started. Trace around the shapes. Get an idea of what you might want to create, like this. And don't overthink it. Just go with it. I like to say, if one can, two can. have to do these all at one time. I mean, if you want to do them once a month, that's fine. I'm just doing this to demonstrate the possibilities. So you just do it however you like. Mostly have a good time doing it. And what I mean by that is have a good time sculpting on it because right now I'm just outlining the ideas and I'm going to put each piece together in a little bag with the sketch and later on it's going to be sculpted. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. But right now, these are gonna go into little kits and they can be given as gifts or I can finish working on them later with my papier-mâché. So, let's continue. You can set these aside for whenever you're ready to work on them. I'm going to move right along and work on two of these pieces. That seems like a good start. So I hope you get the idea of where we're gonna go with these. Each piece has a lot of potential. Let's see what we do with this guy. some more papers. I still have plenty of paper in larger pieces and I use it to fill in like with this piece of paper napkin and I'll also be using copier paper in different colors. So please keep watching to see how this little toucan begins to evolve. Oh he's looking pretty good himself.
into shape as I go. It's very easy to add on to put details wherever we want. It's just a lot of fun. If you want to clean up all of those extra scraps of paper that are laying around, this is a good way to do it. Just crumple them up, dip them in liquid starch, and make some random shapes. Then you can turn them into whatever you want. I'm going to continue working on this side and then I'll set it aside to dry and later work on the other side. Once he dries, I'll be able to paint over him. I could leave it just as it is with these colors, but I prefer to paint over it. so much for watching. I hope you'll come back and join me in more videos. See you next time. Bye for now.